an industry with a, a really good safety record, um, and, and an industry which is quite unique in a way because we've got people from all aspects of the industry coming together, um, promoting safety and doing a lot of good work. But what we haven't done before is we haven't taken it down to the operator level and actually looked at training and education and support for that group of people. So this is a big step in the right direction. And as, as I go back to the safety record, having a great safety record is great, but it could go tomorrow. So it's not about being complacent. It's about having interventions all the time which will promote and improve safety um, for many years to come. The ADEC's primary functions, you're all aware, is for the inspection, certification of rides, everyone will know about the dock process, etc. ADEC's is a not-for-profit company, so the, min the money we uh, take from the dock levy, we put into managing the, the registration scheme, but we also put it back into um, enhancing and improving safety in the industry. So that's why a day like today is, is really um, aligned with our objectives and very important for us to, to put on. HSE really believes in this kind of thing. It's the, it's the industry doing things for itself to improve safety and improve the lot of the public and the showmen working on fairgrounds. I've had four groups through so far and they've all been pretty much engaged, asking questions, showing interest, taking photographs of the screen, so, so pretty good, yeah, I'm pleased with it so far. I'm very impressed. Um, I particularly a couple of things in particular. I thought the hydraulics was was very impressive, and I learned sort of quite a bit through that. Um, definitely um, took a few business cards and take get a bit more information sort of further down the line. So, how does the reality of being here compare to what you thought the day might have been like? Um, better, I think. I kind of. Um, I don't know why, but I kind of had an opinion that I would be told a lot of things that I already knew. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know if that's uh, probably a slightly negative opinion to start with, but yeah, I've, I've come and definitely learned a few things. Hopefully it'll carry on because I've still got a few more to do. We've got a good relationship with, with the parks that, uh, that we work with. You have to have a good relationship because you're there for a period of time and you're not there for, for every day of the year sort of thing, so you've got to work together. Uh, the whole concept of safety is, is joint sort of, you know, between the park or the controller uh, and the inspector. And it's, it's a joint process and you need to work together to be able to do it properly. Okay, that's the end of the second session. We've done work going to fixed parks and maybe going to fairs and, and done small bits of, uh, of sort of seminars and, and, and talking about NDT and welding and stuff. But this is the first time we've, we've put this sort of um, day together. And I, I think so far it's been working quite well. If you've got it's, it's something that uh, that we should we should carry on with, and, and certainly you know there's four or five thousand uh, uh, showmen and controllers in the country, and uh, we you know we need to get this past the hundred or so that we've got here today and, and take it around the country. So this day primarily focuses on operators and, and the people you know responsible for operating and maintaining rides. Obviously, have a very significant part to play in safety uh, by way of understanding their responsibilities, carrying out checks working safely and understanding safe um, operation and, and supervising rides in a safe manner. I think it's an excellent idea. It's really bringing safety to the forefront, uh, showing showmen show for the look for the things that are sometimes obvious and they perhaps neglect um, through maybe being in a hurry or dashing away or whatever, but the sort of things that will save the showman money, make the fairground safer, uh, and generally enhance the perception of the business to the public. We run similar things for the agriculture, for agriculture for, for farmers, and they prove fantastically successful and popular. They're, they're always oversubscribed in the agricultural sector. 
people come along and learn basic stuff about how to protect themselves and other people from the equipment. It gets rid of some of the scuttlebutt myth and misrumor that's around misinformation. Excellent. I think they're really good and it'll be nice to see them go forward and do a few more. I wanted the sessions to be uh, as practical and as hands-on as possible. Uh, we're not trying to preach to people in any way. We're just trying to you know, make them more aware of their, their, their responsibilities, uh, make them more aware of the risks and, and some you know, best practice in terms of safe, safe working practices and, and, and a way of going about their day-to-day -day jobs. Uh, and, and hopefully we've achieved that. I said during the opening speech that if we can get everybody just to learn perhaps one new thing or be refreshed of one new thing from each session, then I would, I would hail this day a, a huge success. You go to these things, you, you always take something from the day and, and it's, it's always worth attending these sorts of functions. A lot of them were expected to be uh, lectured to by the health and safety, I think. But where in fact it's been a, a presentation from ADIPS. Something that they all pay into with their registration fees. So it's ADIPS giving something back to the members uh, by way of education. I just want to make a quick specific uh, thank you to the Showman's Guild for the resources they've provided for today and also to NAFLIC, uh, the Health and Safety Executive, who have provided five of the seven speakers for the sessions today and also to Pertec and to uh, the Grant Affairs Group who are providing the last two speakers today.